Alright guys, welcome to Quint 1836, where everything we do has got to be built Ford tough, even though this isn't a Ford. But... Well, on this episode of the third carburetor I've, you know, in this truck, we're going to do some old brain at happener modifications that I think I got the parts for. I think I bought it because it was, it had a flag on the, on the picture of it, and I didn't realize it was the Chinese flag. And so it, it came broken, so that's fine. And then I did the right thing and just shot over to eBay and bought this unit, which is that one, and it's a great carburetor. It just went bad. So made in the U. It's actually made in Kentucky. So, and then you fellers are gonna want to get a a good stool for you. So you just, there we go. Tools we're gonna need. Step 47B, subsection A. Also, just seeing here, I got some wiring exposed. Not sure what, it's just exposed. And uh, you can either repair it using just electrical tape, or you can do the right thing and forget you saw it. So we're going to do the right thing, because that's the right thing to do. All right, let's make a brain plan here. Well, okay, throttle cable. Throttle cable. Throttle, okay, fine. I'm just going to jam it off with this then. Off. Now, I guess the expert fuel make it happen or shoot or juice line. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. She's loose. And it's already just. You just got a premium. Or like the time my brother put four gallons of diesel in it, and his reasoning was it smells like, not my uh, brother, my cousin, because his reasoning was. Well, it sounded like a diesel. A diesel with a carburetor and spark plugs. All right, that makes perfect sense. She's out. That is way too much plumber's tape. Just yeah. Yeah. Ease them out of it. It'll it'll come around. It'll come around. It'll come around. It'll come around. Do we even need? Probably not. Hit the old radiator. That's good. On me. Now you just want to get the old. Now we just take this junk off of the truck. Coming out right now. Ah. Some people say you want thinner. Some people say you want thicker. You want to go ahead and strip these if you can. But if you do, I don't quite know what you're doing because that's a steel bolt. Hacks. These 6th Gen Ford trucks, they ain't messing around now on their size. It's all or nothing. My friend uh, Bryce DeCastro, go check him out. Link in the description eventually. Uh, he's got a 74 F-250 single cab with the 5.9 liter, what is it, a 360? Yeah. And uh, he knows all about the, you just got to have arms that are 18 feet long. Just want to go ahead and dispose of them properly. Oh, good. The intake's cracked. That's fine. Well, went ahead and uh, snipped that off. So basically, all you want to do now is dispose of this the right way. So, ah, oh, come on. I just can't see nothing. That seems lined up enough. Go ahead and jam the bolt in it. I just can't reach nothing. We're going back in here. You just, sometimes you gotta rest on the radiator. Under this here, fellas, is your old vacuum advance when it starts psh, suckling down here and then it pulls out this little rod and then it gives you 87 more horsepower. That's not how a vacuum advance works, but that's... You being racist again? Chinese food tastes so good. This here is called your motor, and that does something important. You don't really need those, but it's recommended. <sighs> well, you could if you were 50 feet tall. I mean, I'm 6'1", so... Overview. So, fuel line modification. If you want to do this to your truck, uh... Any, I mean, I've seen them done on Chevy 305s, 307s, Ford 460s, Ford 400s, Ford 300s, 
they're super simple. These metal lines are fantastic from the factory. But after 30 some odd years, they start to just and then, uh, then they get all crimped up. So I was lucky enough to be able to find this fuel filter that screws into the carburetor, but that has a rubber outlet, inlet, whatever. And so I just snipped it off and then all right, plug the choke in on pump. Let's we'll see what happens. Make some thunder. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Might help if the friggin' co coil's plugged in. Also, the carburetor's completely dry, but if you ain't got spark. I'm getting a little tick, tick, tick. I can't tell if it's lifters or if it's arcing. It'll come around. I gotta get my ear meter in on it. It's already, it's about ready to idle. I'm just gonna keep my foot in it. We got about 60 pounds of oil pressure on it. Listen to it, listen to it. That's fine. It'll get better as it gets warmed up. Situation update. The lifter tick's gone, it came out of it. Lack of lubrication, been sitting two weeks, what do you expect? I don't know if you can hear me or not. I'm just trying to get the old ear meter. I need to bring the idle up a little bit, but it's all right for now. Come on, stop backfiring. You can't beat the good old buzzing half dozen. Ah.